this buff is a continuous buff. They're gonna stay at 12 twelves. So, um, and I've actually got scout. I can scout forward. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, Yogi. Hello, Gomez here for the Land Up channel again with another deck for you today. This time, actually, like it's going to be kind of two decks, but I'm only going to be focusing on one of them. I will explain more when we get into the little deck, uh, which is an overview of the thing. But anyway, it's a deck that involves the uh, the blurb fish or the blurble fish, just because I just needed to make a deck with it. So let's get into this. So as I said, this kind of is two decks, but I'm only going to be focusing in on one of them, and that's going to be Blurble Mine 2. Uh, this is actually a, which you got a Blurble, Blurble Fish deck that involves um, Mind Meld, because the idea of this deck is to use as many spells as possible while also like creating a bit of a board so that you can then throw this out, because this obviously is going to become zero cost, and then you can throw that on top of it, and then this makes this however big it needs to be, because obviously it only has the one health stat at the, at the time, but it's an elusive and with fizz on the board and with potentially zap on the board as well you're gonna get like a, some really powerful elusive damage coming in now the I, I did i made two of these decks right i made a pnz deck and i made a targon deck we're focusing on the targon deck today because the targon deck is the more meme deck okay because the idea of it is that we're playing out the way so that once we use um mind meld that buff actually stays once mine would it once this has been played during the game mind meld stays and it also then means that our um power cascades will stay on or if we get anything through spell thief that's useful like it just, it's just it's just a more meme way of playing it um the other deck i will very briefly go over i will put both down below just so that you know which it like in case you want to check out the pnz because the pnz one is actually probably a little bit more viable in the fact that it's got like a really good removal tools it's got the idea of instead of the which it's got the blurble fish but as well you can get the jerry bots out to also get that buff because they're on burst speed and then you play the uh, the mind mouse but obviously they don't keep the buff like in this version that they don't keep the buff but you're doing it so that you're getting one push through to the core you've got like an oblistic bot who's creating spells so that you're like kind of buffing that up instead and whatnot and then this, this deck's got a lot more draw going in it okay like you know, with, with rummage and with which with with this so it's a little bit it's got more tools. i definitely think this deck is the more viable when it comes to if you were playing this like uh, on the ladder but you know gomez gomez goes more meme so i do apologize but i will put that link in there as well but this is the deck we're going to be working with today so um Warning Shot. Warning Shot is a great um, get Fizz out of jail free card in the fact that basically sometimes you can, as long as you've got this in hand you don't mind playing Fizz and you don't mind using up your mana because then your opponent thinks, well, he's used up all of his mana so now I'm going to target Fizz. Boom! Warning Shot and then once you're in that then they, they immediately regret the decision. Um, we've got what you've got um, Spell Thief in there as well, just a nice little quick thing to use. Uh, like a good, you, you, wait, you need to like uh, make sure that you're using Spell Thief at the right time. See what kind of spells your opponents used and whether or not you're going to be able to get something to counter at the time um this obviously creates a one cost spell so it's a, putting a minion on board it is giving you a mana and it's also giving you a one mana cost spell which means that therefore you can um play it to be like a Fill it, filling up your mind meld that's the idea you want to play as many spells as possible goat every single time it attacks in it's creating a gem you play that gem it's a spell that's working towards fizz as well as it's a quick activator for fizz um we've got which got like a guided touch a little bit of draw a little bit of healing if, if needed uh power cascade more for the draw factor but also as i said once um out the way has been played that buff is actually a continuous buff but don't don't be waiting for that just play it. If, it, if the time feels right play it double trouble put in more means on the field as well as the fact that it's counting as a spell so you can put this put these guys out as blockers as well as the fact that obviously like you're getting close to your mind world and making a bigger board for potentially mind meld if needed uh mentor of the stones really great for buffing fizz because obviously this can buff his uh which get health as well as the fact that when he dies he creates gems which then can be used to which it to help with mind meld so which it this works really well um grabbing something off of your opponent's side to be able to kill it, making it vulnerable being able to grab it and deal damage there's only two of these in the deck because once fizz levels up he does actually start making them himself once he hits into the nexus um island widget island navigator yeah again bald bald 
bald filler, bald filler. Like, you know, the only other bald filler who I considered, but I didn't actually end up putting in this deck was Petty Officer, because Petty Officer technically can put another thing on the ball, but I decided that the Navigator, because of the Scout and because her health stat is far better than Petty Officer's, I decided to go with the Navigator. And I, like I said, you could technically add Petty Officer, but his health stat is what kind of stopped me from wanting to put him in. Um, Zap, obviously, like, is drawing a spell as well as a tuning and being elusive. And then we've got which is like out the way, which hopefully we'll play. This, all of this should be getting this one's cost down, as well as the fact this one actually does create a spell itself and then mind melt. So the idea here is that you're going to just be using as many spells as possible, get those elusives on the board, and then um, if you've played this, like you don't have to play this. If the, if the kill move is there, just use mind melt and go for the kill move. This is just a, just in case you can get this out early so that then that buff is a continuous buff that can just stay across everything. So that's the way this one it's definitely more meme -y version as i said like the other one is probably more viable but this is the one i'm going to be playing today so this is why i'm just going more in depth with this but as i said the link to both of them will be down below um a few considerations which like you know a few different like uh, things for changes that like uh, are possible is that like you know you might consider um i actually i actually did football so like you know hush you could which it put in this game just like you know, to help with a little bit more counterplay to your opponent. Um, there was actually which it, my mind my mind actually thought of something that was going to be really good, but then I decided not to include it. And for some reason now my mind doesn't want to work with me to remind me what the, <laughs> what the hell that that was. So I do apologise for that, people. I'm now just rammed. Oh, dude, Bastion! I was actually going to include Bastion um, just because to help Fizz get past things that he wouldn't normally be able to get past. So. Um, for example like you know uh twisted face red card uh avalanche things like that so technically bastion could if you really want to protect fizz bastion can be in there because basically once uh fizz has got bastion though he's basically untouchable because there's nothing that you can really do to him or like other than obviously if they use those spells but they have to use like two in it which two at a go which is not easy so bastion was a potential just to keep fizz alive i decided not to at this moment in time because it's a bit of a selfish reason just to just for the widget for the one um champion so i'm gonna gonna say no at the moment but that was actually a really big consideration at the time of making it with targon um Yes, so that is the deck. Um, remember, people, shameless plug time, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. You can catch me live on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Bearing in mind that on that Thursday stream, it is the last stream of which it like a last stream this month where you can win yourself. Like this Thursday is the last stream that you can win yourself a set of Twisted Fate cards because then all six will be given away because obviously five have already been given away. This is the last one for the month of Christmas. Um, so please feel free to get involved with that. Like, you know, still, there's still time. As well there's the fact that obviously, um, I don't know what I was going to say, the Discord down below. There is a Discord link if you want to join and have a good time. We're making a lovely community of people. And thank you, everyone. Everyone's been so lovely. <laughs> thank you, everyone who supported this channel. Thank you, everyone who subscribed. Everyone who comments. It Honestly, it, it makes my day when I wake up in the morning just looking to see all these lovely comments from people. And so thank you so much. It's just, you, you, all, I'm just a weird, crazy man who just puts things together and hopes that they're going to work. But some for some reason, that's entertaining. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad that you find it entertaining. And I hope to continue to entertain you so thank you so much uh, anyway let's get in and see how this deck does in a couple of matchups oh good old zo victor G to be fair we have very little there's, there's like no target i mean the pnz one's got target this one actually doesn't have target we, we basically have to rely on our opponent's spells from PNZ to get target to kill Zo. because basically you put Zo on the board there's literally nothing we can do about Zo. potentially immediate thermal I mean, do we just immediately attack? Do we just go Sonic, kill Fizz, go and kill him? I dare you. He t okay, right. I just need to hope he's not got another, Zo uh, another Zoe. That's all I can do right now. Okay, admittedly, Victor's probably our bigger problem, but I said, like, hey, we can we can deal with that. The, the, deck, the deck does not live or die on Fizz. The deck does not live or die on Fizz. It is, it's an annoyance to lose Fizz, but, like, you know, we, 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 we struggle onwards. Yep, yeah, so get that out. I mean, the fact that our opponent is called God Will Bow to Me is kind of very intimidating right now. I mean, I, the, the fact that we've... Oh, one more mana. What, if, I could, if that turn would have just been out the way, I would have been happy. Okay, I can still... 
Okay, so we can get we can get some goat on goat action at least, guy. That's that's the one thing we can do is goat on goat action. I can't do anything about Zo. Um, I can at least do this just so that any buffs in the future. At least, uh, at least stay. So now, now, um, my meld actually does stay. So, Pal Cascade also stays. Go on, have your fun. Have your fun. So, come on, just give me, give me some answers. Give me some. That is not the answers I'm looking for. Um, he hasn't really even used any spells. I mean, he has not actually used any spells. Oh, this is devastating. Um, so, not gonna lie, we're not in the best place. Do we just play this just for draw right now? The poor man's out the way just because we haven't really got many other options right now. Or do we play? Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, which, I'm gonna play this. This is this, this is the most poor, This is the most terrible hand I could have at this exact moment in time. But let's see. Okay, there we go. At least that's something worthwhile. Okay, that's uh, that's gonna put two means on the board. I I can live with that. I mean, admittedly, I said like a uh, Zoe's starting to like he's starting to kick Zoe off. But it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's uh, we we can live with this. We can live with this. So we throw you out. Actually, but do it. Actually, we throw Goat out. I feel. Is he just only going to attack forward with Zoe? I mean, admittedly, we do actually have Shakedown, so we can we can actually target that eventually. It's just all about all, all we've got to do now is just buy buy the time. Just buy just buy the time. Buy the time. Okay. Let 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 him let him do his stuff. Let let him do his crazy energy core upgrades and whatnot. It's absolutely fine. So what we can do is we can actually shake down. We can shake down to grab Zoe. We actually could grab Victor during all this as well, but I feel like the one that we need to grab is the ballistic bot. A little luck for those needed. Not gonna lie, this is it's 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 it's, it's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Okay. It's all kicking off. How close? I mean, he's he's got a very close. He's got a very close, very quickly. I need to hope he's not got burst speed stuff in this hand. Burst speed stuff is the only thing that stops me. Is basically the idea. How, he's used a lot of spells as well. He's used a lot of spells. Okay, so how close? I mean, Zoe's two away. Zoe is two away. So let's go. Whoop. Uh, whoop. uh do, do we actually uh, whoop? Because it's our only plan I, I need to keep these back as I need to keep him back as defense So let's let's see if we can kill you Yugi Oh, oh is he got Okay, okay, so we go. Whoop, whoop. Okay, we're we're okay at the moment. We're okay at the moment. Actually wait, does that level her? Or is that wait? Does that level her? Has he actually already leveled her? Is this all gonna is this all been for nothing? Cause that never wait, that activates his that No! Oh my god! He was one! He was one away! Oh I mean to be fair, I've got it's, I've got the much bigger problem. <laughs> I've got a much bigger problem that I'm facing, but it's good to know. <laughs> it's it, it's good to know that um, it's good to know that at least we we had that we had the options. Um, do we want to attack forward there as well? Actually, oh, I guess the thing of it is I've got two power cascades. I want him to attack forward with Victor. I doubt that he does, right? Because basically we just need to beat down that health. Um, a big part of me is like, do I keep you back? Because we do know that we've got my meld in hand. Do, there's like so many different things. It's like, maybe I should be doing this because of that. Because I mean, yeah, that's a good trade off for him. <laughs> Okay, all I've got to do now is hope that he's not got a counter to the fact that we can just power cascade and power cascade and hope that just Victor dies. Because once Victor's dead, <laughs> once Victor's dead, Zoe and Victor have both been killed, and I can sl I can sl I can sleep at night. Don't don't don't. No! 
Okay. I mean, dude, he's got regen. Has he got regen? He's, no, he's got life still, not regeneration. I was gonna say, he has regeneration. So fit for nothing. Okay. Not gonna lie. I. <laughs> I've had, I've had better time. I mean, he's got a gem as well. He can actually get him back up. <laughs> How many spells? Right. I'm not gonna lie. This is. It's not what we wanted. If he gets overwhelmed, if he gets overwhelmed as well, then it's kind of. It's all done. So wait, wait. we need to. Because he's right now got an attack of 13. He's right now got an attack of 13. I kind of have to play you. I have to play you just to be defensive because I've got no other plans right now other than to play this to be somewhat defensive. Okay. There it is. Well, hoop, hoop, hoop. He's level. Hoop, 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 hoop. <laughs> okay. This is not looking good. Okay. This is, all he needs, all he needs is the keyword overwhelm. That's literally all he. He's not playing for. He's not, did he, Why would he not check the hex core upgrade first? I want to check the hex core upgrade. Um. I'm gonna go with spell thief to see whether or not I can find mystic shot. <laughs> <laughs> I do indeed find Mystic Shot. Um, so we go. Whoop. I mean, it's not what I was expecting to have to use. I need a way of killing him. I need to kill Vic. No. Um, okay, so that plan didn't work. We could, we could actually. Do we, do we see if we find another one? <laughs> We're, we're just trying to feed. We're just trying to feed the mind belt at this point. Oh crap! What's happened? What's happened? Let me. There we go. I was gonna say what? what it's not going terribly wrong. Um. So we could use this. We could use this just to force more resources out of our opponent, as well as the fact that this is now that's now putting more things in our deck as well. That's, that's putting more damage in our deck. So I'll take it. Um. Do. So our, our, our thing is here, we could either play um, Mentor or we could play Jailbreak. We've got like, you know, the two options. I feel like I'm gonna play Jailbreak just because like, you know, I'd rather try and get that benefit. I'm probably not, but I wanna play, okay, how, how, how much mana? We're at 10. Okay, so we're at 10 damage on these things. So the chances of them surviving, because we already know that he's got a level two Ray that is in the three, the top three cards of his deck. So if he didn't draw it this turn, he could draw it next turn. He could turn, we just know the heart of the card is not with him and that he draws it on the third one. But we don't know what other removal spells he's got in hand. I mean, what's our opponent, what's, what's he thinking right now? Oh, that's actually very nice for the, for the for this deck to make sure we're going to the next turn with free spell. Don't, don't get scout. Don't get, actually no, it doesn't matter if he gets scout right now, does it? Because he's all, already attacked forward. Um, he's got a few, he's got a lot of things. He's got a lot of things. He was scared. He was scared of the, uh, another power cascade. That's why, he, that's why he didn't attack forward with Victor. He was honestly scared of another power cascade. Which is quite funny when you think about it. Um, okay, so if we play you, yeah, we've still got the mana. So we're gonna play this first. This, if we fight, if we do this, if we, if we, if we conquer right now, this has been the most stupidly insane comedy moment of the. I mean, we, I mean, we could even throw, we could actually throw a gem out, or we could throw this out as a, as a. So he's gonna win. Let's, let's, let's um. See what he gets. Let's see what he gets. He's got three cards in. He needs to have removal. A lot of removal. Right, so I feel like we just go and put you on top. Because we might as well, like, uh, max it out, right? So, um, we throw you on top of here because this is the one that's going to have the least likely removal for. And then we go, whoop. I mean, the thing of it is, if this could be cheat, I mean, oh my god, god, god will bow to me, no sir, you will bow to Gomez, I mean, like, you know, like, if god has to bow to him, god. so he kills that, that's fine, we've still got the other elusive, we've got the other elusive, and this buff is a continuous buff, this buff is a continuous buff, they're gonna stay at 12 12s, so, um, and I've actually got Scout! I can Scout forward! Oh my god! Yes, Yugi! Yes! 
<laughs> so these guys attack forward first. I'm too airborne. Therefore, like a forcing, forcing him. Okay, right, okay. I mean, he, have you got have you got removal for the elusive one then? As well? Have you got removal for the elusive attack? Primed and ready. I, I don't think you are, mate. I don't think you're ready for it's about to go down. GG though, like, you know, this was actually an amazing game. We lost Fizz really early on, but at the same point, this has got, I mean, yes, this, mate, well, I mean, well played, well played, honestly. This has been an amazing game. Just, well, well played. He knows, he knows there's no way around. And then, just that damage going off the 12. Yes! He bows to me! <laughs> GG. Oh, but what, what, why did he die? Oh, no, because well, he didn't. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm talking bollocks. I'm talking bollocks. I thought he was dead then. It turns out this continues. Okay, no, he's through. I was going to say, I thought he was dead. But he managed to block all the places. I don't know why I that, but it, I still keep the buffs, so it's all good. I mean, I thought that was the end of it. I, 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 a little bit premature on the celebration there. <laughs> but good times. That was actually a really good game. Really surprising is the fact we killed Zoe, which you just had one more to go. So we're against Bloodstarsh. We're against Bloodstarsh, and my mind is thinking, okay, this is going to be a very hard match because he's going to have Ember Maiden, which is a big downside for Fizz. Um, but actually, maybe I should have actually um, got Fizz out of the out of this because it's not going to be good for him. Because our second, so Ember Maiden drops potentially on free, but he potentially wants to drop his Scar Ground on free. So who knows? Um, I'm gonna go for an immediate attack forward. I'm gonna go for the immediate attack forward because, like, uh, while he's got nothing on the board. In the War Mother's name. Okay, throw that out. I mean, admittedly, I said like this. So I'm just shoving like a not. Not a lot punishes at this moment in time. Not a lot punishes at this moment in time. I'm going to keep this. Ye be warned. I need to keep for a, a very special occasion. I'm sure. But potentially Ember Maiden. Ember Maiden drops and there's literally... Like Fizz just dies because there's nothing you can do to defend it. Maybe. I'm, th I'm thinking maybe just throw... Oh no, Scar Grounds. Okay, that's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about just using you over here. Um... Because, let's face it, like, uh, I mean, obviously I'd want to be using this on Brom or Vlad, but you've got to take what's in front of you right now. And so I'll take this, go into next turn with that immediate attack forward um, and, and grabbing this. Because if we immediately grab forward, he can't do a transfusion. And if he can't do a transfusion, that helps us out a lot. He could potentially have the spinning blade thing. The, um, what is it? The two cost spinning blade, like, do death lotus. Which could be problematic. I do actually have a way of getting fizz around that anyway, but still. It could be there. The thing is, like, I'm like, do I, do I play guiding touch first just so i get like a the card off of both of them admittedly that'd probably be the better plan not that i'm guiding touch in anything i mean I, I i can get him past that i can get him past that if i throw both power cascades on top you know what because of the amount of damage that's gonna be because he's got overwhelm let's do it let's do this because you know what? Sometimes you just gotta say balls to the walls. Let's go. Because he like he's gonna get so much value, right? Scar Ground is gonna give him so much value that we have to beat him down quickly. And so we're on turn four, and he's already down to six health. We can actually get him down to five. So this is the uh, this is gonna be the only way we're gonna win. The only way we're gonna win is by literally just sheer brute force and, and getting those attacks out as quickly as we can. So let's just do it. Because it is, it is our only plan right now. It is our only plan. We can't actually get the mana down. We could get the, we, so we can nick further. We actually have the ability to nick further. I mean, this is GG, right? Because we have the ability to steal further from our opponent. And, um, not still, use the other <laughs> from our opponent. And so we've got four damage already in hand. And then Fizz can attack for. I mean, this is this. I feel like this is. Even if I let this attack go through, 
um, this should be okay. So we don't do anything because we have, we, I mean, even more so, we do nothing because there's literally no point in us doing anything. Um, but we can do is say, oh, oh, oh shit, I should have played, played the fish. I should have played the fish. Uh, we do actually have a rally move as well right now, which is quite funny. Um, okay, so let's just start this off. Start this off by making Fizz elusive. Hitting across all all these things. Knowing that we can grab further. Knowing that we can... Which is, so I'm guessing he's going to use um, further himself. He's, he's going to use something to kill you, right? That's going to be his plan. He's going to use like Ravenous Flock or he's going to use something to kill you. I feel. Or is he trying? To, or is he going to try and kill Fizz, which would be a massive mistake on his part? <sighs> okay, so what we can do here is get a guiding touch, guiding touch to make sure that goes through, and then what we can, because this is all battling allies, right? So if we use playful trickster. Fizz should go back and not be affected, and then we get to attack forward again with Fizz. So that works. I mean, I was thinking, I, I was feeling the further. I mean, the further plan would have been GG. So maybe we should have gone with the further plan like before this, because technically I can't do that anymore because I'm one mana off. But this is the way of making sure that Fizz. I feel that Fizz deserves the victory. Okay, I feel that Fizz deserves the victory. So let's go. So that damage goes in. He gets so he gets he got so much value and tough off of all that. So much value from tough. But we now throw forward this, and that should be GG because there is literally nothing he can do. Um, yep, he knows. We beat Scargrounds. <laughs> yes. GG though. Well played. Well played. We beat Scar Scargrounds, which is really funny. Ooh, we've shadow so with Timo, Timo and Hyma, but we've shadow ground, sh sh shadow ground, sh shadow Isles. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so, <laughs> so a lot of removal. Obviously, like a lot. I'm guessing there's going to be removal here, right? That's. I'm trying to work out what. So. Potentially using fading mem using fading memories and the new PNZ copy card to make copies of the things which make shrooms, but then also that spells, so that's helping towards Hyma. You know, I can actually I can see this. I can see this maybe like you know, causing me some problems. Um, do I want to play Fizz right now? Do I want to play Fizz? I can't cover Fizz. He plays Thermal. If he plays Thermal, I'm not really, like, nothing helps, that's not really, like, okay, helping Fizz. I'm actually going to play the Goat, so that we can get ourselves a gem, so that when we play Fizz, we've at least got, like, an activator to make his, um, invisible. But we do need, potentially, we want to play Zap first to try and get, like, we want, we want to get a quick burst speed spell so we know that we can save Zap. So, like, Warning Shot is, like, the, the, the creme de la creme of spells that we're looking for right now. I don't think we're going to get it, but it's the spells we're looking for. Hopefully he doesn't do anything. We just get, immediately get free damage on him. I can only assume that this has got a... I mean, that can't defend, so this is fine. That can't defend it. So, I mean, obviously, so he's, so he's playing... Are you, are you gonna... Are you spectering me? Are you spectering me? Is this gonna be some weird spectre? Obviously, like, you know... The spectre would bring bring the chariot shot back. Is this gonna be some weird spectre deck that... Like literally, he's gonna shuffle. He's got he's got counterfeit copies. He's gonna put loads of them in my deck. Which admittedly, if you were playing, if you were playing um, Spectre, you'd want Hecarim, right? Because you'd want you'd make Hecarim once he levels up. It's gonna make your Spectres be at least free free. Um, so I'd say that you'd put him as being one of the champions. But you know, um, that would just be like my my way of playing. I mean, I know that I've got a, a Spectre collector deck out, which is actually championless, but. You know, that's more because it's more of a burn deck, but let's see, let's see. So I feel like chicken tonight, but I also feel like Oh, so it's made, so yeah again, that's a bit of an early play. You want to be having mushrooms in my deck before, but I mean it depends it depends on what his hand is. His hand might just be dead. He might literally just have like you know, there's like no hand here going on. Um so I could make two random minions. Um 
I don't actually do that. Sod it. Let's go. Let's go. Two random moves. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go just killing him quickly or trying to kill. Ooh, the augment guy. I mean, the augment guy. This is pesky. Okay. Okay. This is pesky Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, God, you know what? Put, hit me, come on, hit me. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Admittedly, it does screw up my draw a lot. I'm gonna play Fizz. Gonna play Fizz, because uh, the idea here is that I'm just gonna throw the gem on, on top of Fizz. Actually, we could actually play it on top of the Ogman guy. Oh. This actually has a, is it go hard as well. Oh! Okay, so we've lost the Ogman guy. I was going to say the Ogman guy would have been, had quick attack, which would have meant that he wouldn't have been able to defend with the Investigator. Okay. So, what I can do is I can put this on top of you, just so that by attacking forward with you, um, the Investigator's got to die, right? In terms of he's got to go in front of somebody and die. He could still have Whale. Like, Withering Whale, and there's, like, other things as well, which really help him out. Let's go for this. Give a, give a, get our mana, get, would you get our mana going again, and give ourselves some random spells. We've got some elusives. We've got some other elusives, which are, like, our potential. But, this, it's gonna get, to, it's gonna get to the scary moment, right? It's gonna get to the, so he's attacking forward, so we've got more, more chariot sharks coming at us. I guess we, I guess we, we, we might need to start defending against the chariot sharks. So let's see what we can get off of these. That is really not what you're looking for here. Oh! Okay, right, so he's gonna grab Fizz. He's gonna grab Fizz. I can't actually save Fizz's life because I've only got one power cascade. If I had two power cascades, I could get Fizz past this. Um... Fizz is not actually 100% crucial to the game plan, though. As, as, as we've seen before, we can actually win a game without Fizz. So I just want to make sure that we're grabbing the Mushroom Man. Because, obviously, he does have a, a bit of trying to force me to draw. So, plus if we can get these other elusives down. Oh, I, sh I, sh I should have done the move after. I should have done the move after. I should have done the move after, the, which are after the fact. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Okay, I'll take this. Um, but we do have a gem. I mean, but yeah, no, I should I should have waited and played that move after. That was actually a foolish mistake of me doing it before he's attacked her. I'm so mad at myself. That's such a that's such a terrible misplay. But on the plus side, we do still have we do still have like you know things that we can do right. So we can gem getting these guys down to costing one. Actually, we also have the ability of using this on there, so this is actually fine. Um, Get a gem on top of this one because obviously his plan is to go into the mushroom man. Um, he could have whale, as I said, he could have whale. Whale does punish us significantly. Um, he could, would you? Because I mean, like, the only he can't have ruination. He could have vengeance. Um, there's Heimer. So it's okay. Oh, actually, we can grab Heimer as well. We can grab Heimer as well, so we can actually just grab with these two. And the fact that he's one's bigger than mine as well. The fact that he's one's bigger than mine is definitely not what you want to see. Um, right, so we do parlay just to grab Hyama. But yeah, no, that, that's... Whoo, I mean, technically, I, I, can now, I can now actually make a copy of that myself, which is quite nice. Um, oh, wait, wait, did I, I did the wrong one. I... I Mistakes were made again. I have done misplay after misplay here. I played parlay on top of him rather than playing the watch it the EP wound. Mistakes have been made several times. Several times during this game, mistakes were made. Um because technically, yeah. I mean, if I could have thrown a power cascade on this guy, that would have been legit. So, mistakes. Many mistakes. Mistakes are us, is me. Uh, but at least Haim is dead. Look, let's look at the positives. We might win this game, even though we've terribly... We don't... I'm just going to say, we don't deserve to win. We don't deserve to win because there's been so many misplays. But... We could win, and that's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, he's actually giving me draw, thank you. You know what, I actually, I actually need draw, so thank you kindly. Thank you so much, this is this is very important right now that I get this draw. I can actually, I mean, I just, I, I feel like we just take that damage. I feel like we just take it, um, because we've got, we've got all the elusiveness going on. Um, we can spell Thief. 
We can spell thief to grab, hopefully, one of the... Yep, there we go. Oh, we can actually grab his go hard, but that's not important. What is important is that we grab this so that we can make a copy of you again. Because um, you cost zero for me. So, we do that. The hilariousness is... Okay, so he's got he's got Timo, he's got Timo who could who could help. I mean, if he, like he could he could have withering well, he could have withering well, which does punish here. Admittedly, what I should have done is I should have I should have kept my I should have kept my moves back because then I could have used. The, Okay, I mean, that doesn't matter because it's going into our attack move. We do actually, we might win. We don't deserve to win, okay? Well, the amount of misplays that I have legitimately made, I do not deserve to win this game. But you better be, you better be damn right that I'm still going to go for the victory because Sonic is, I mean, like, he, still, he actually wouldn't even actually be able to ruin it. He could have, he could have got out a uh, Withering Whale. I mean, the thing of it is, is that I said we do, we do actually have, I mean, the fact we've got two warning shots and we've got a power cascade. Oh, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. So, I mean, let's see whether or not, because he might, he might come up with a plan to get him out of it. I don't think he is going to get a plan to get himself out of it. Because slowly but surely, he is getting away from Withering Whale. He could still, okay, yeah, he's, he's now out of range of, I mean, he's dead. He's dead. So, whoop, whoop. I mean, whoop. Just, 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 just so that he knows that we, just, just because we can get the draw, we could technically have thrown out another one, but you know, he's dead now. He's dead. We don't need to worry about another one. We misplayed so much and somehow still got through this. That's, that's actually quite nice for this deck, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> the, the fact that you can misplay and still win. <laughs> I mean, no, no, in all honesty, like, uh, they played a good game. They played a good game. And I'm really interested to see actually what their deck does. It's a shame that we didn't actually get to fully appreciate what their deck does. But I, I would love to see what their deck does. Very nice. We take it. So that is the Blurble Meld 2. As I said, there is actually the Blurble Meld, like the first one as well. I will link them both down below. So one of them is um, Bilgewater PNZ, and the one that we played today, obviously, is Bilgewater uh, Targon. I could have technically made two videos on these, but for some reason, you know, it's the same concept. So let's just pop it all into like, you know, one one little box and that. We might see the, the PNZ one. I might make a video on the PNZ one in the future, depending on whether or not people want to see it or whether or not I feel like it needs it. But this is definitely a fun deck. And once again, off as you can see <laughs> once it gets off it is amazingly funny um but thank you all so much for watching bear in mind as i said you can catch me on twitch on twitch on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays thursday as i said it's the last shot oh bloody hell, the last chance this month for the month of christmas to get yourself in for a draw to win some of these twisted fake cards um there will be giveaways in the future i would i like you know i can print off i can print off and paint more so it's not it's not an issue in terms of that and there is also other things that i'm probably gonna want to do as well in terms of printing and, and uh, that but just thank you all so much for the support hope you enjoyed your time if you would please comment down below let me know what you think if there's any changes you'd make to this deck please let me know as well as that if you run this deck let me know how it goes for you uh, there's also a discord link down below if you want to join the lovely discord of like a lovely like a group of people that we're making um there's also a movie night and a games night that happens in that discord but thank you so much until next time bye flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me okay Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me.